Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Certainly glad you've tuned in. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. And as always, presented by Great Southern Bank. Great Southern Bank with more than 100 locations in six states. Great Southern Bank that cares much about your money as you do. And they understand what really matters. Member FDIC, go north to Mexico High School, home of the Bulldogs, and head boys basketball coach Darren Pappas. Coach Pappas, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Coach, uh, you've, you haven't lost so far in 2024. Uh, you got to go back to a Rolla loss there two days before uh, the new year. You've won 16 in a row. What are you doing really well right now? You know, I think we're defending at a high level. Our guys are trusting each other, um, playing as a team, getting after it defensively, and then moving the basketball, and we're hitting some timely shots on the offensive end uh, from the perimeter. Uh, you know, what's great about this team is we got guys that can contribute uh, every single night, uh, one through, you know, 13, and um, we're getting a lot of uh, production from our bench. You know, going back, you know, through your Class 4 District 8 tournament onto the Class uh, 4 uh, State tournament, I mean, you've played three teams right now. And if you include Vashon coming up, they're averaging combined over 20 wins a seat, uh, uh, this year with Kirksville, Centralia, and Borgia. Kind of take us back through that district run and then into that Borgia game in the state tournament. Yeah, you know, um, it started out in that district game against Kirksville, one of our uh, NCMC uh, rival and, and foes um, are in our conference. And, you know, we knew it wasn't going to be easy a third time playing them in one season. It's never easy to knock off a team uh, when you see them that many times and you're so familiar with personnels and, and what they like to do offensively and defensively and vice versa. Uh, and, you know, our guys just had to grind through that one. Um, we had to play at a high level. We were led by Jaden Eldridge uh, with 23 points in that contest. Um, he shot it really well from the perimeter. And then that, we moved on to Centralia. And uh, Centralia was uh, is playing or was playing really, really good basketball. They um, obviously were the three seed and made it all the way to the championship game. Um, Coach Humphrey does a great job. He's going to take over the – be the AD at Troy next year. And so they left it all out there for him. Uh, and they had us, you know – down for the first half and and finally we took the lead in the third quarter and then the fourth quarter we kind of just exploded for 20 points and only given up six points and so that was a huge momentum uh boost for us uh in that uh district championship game in the fourth quarter um and then that kind of just propelled us into uh last night's sectional game against borgia and you know borgia is uh ranked number two in class four um, they have a really, really good uh, post player in Adam Rickman. Uh, we were able to hold him under his average of 17. He held him to 16. Um, but they had some other guys that really, really got hot uh, from the perimeter. Uh, Brody Dimbo and uh, Tate Mar- uh, Marquette uh, had 13 and 12 points respectively. But um, our guys were just, you know, will-powered and, and obviously playing at home uh, for that sectional matchup against Borgia. Uh, obviously, it was a nostalgic uh, rivalry there from the mid '90s into the early 2000s, and so it was just good uh, to see a lot of uh, former players uh, from those teams back in the stands to cheer us on in the community. And the support by our student section was great. And now you've got uh, Vashon, who has been you know thought of as maybe one of the better teams in the state uh, all season long. They're very similar as far as points allowed per game and points scored per game. Uh, what do you know about Vashon and what are you going to have to do there as you have to travel uh, to Vashon? You know, obviously they have a rich tradition, winning tradition. Um, the state titles speak for themselves. Uh, we matched up against them two years ago when we were undefeated and they got us. Uh, it's not going to be easy, an easy task by no means. Um, they're well coached. Coach Irons does a great job. Um, they got athletes all across the board. Uh, we got to take care of the basketball, you know, don't get rattled if things aren't going our way with turnovers or shots aren't falling and, and just continue to play Mexico basketball and trust one another and believe in one another. You know, that was the message last night, in the sectional game against the Borgia team. Um, and that's going to be the message this week as we prepare for that quarterfinal game at Vashon on Saturday. 
uh, obviously going to their place. Um, you know, we're, we're the underdogs obviously coming in and, and being at their home court, uh, for a quarterfinal game, it won't be an easy task by no means, but I really, uh, like our, our, our group. I really like where we are with our mindset um, and how we're going to approach this game. And we'll just take it, you know, one possession at a time. Um, but it won't be any easy task by no means. Well, being undefeated on the road, I mean, you did lose one game in a, in a neutral setting. But as far as playing in other people's gyms, you guys have had success at 7-0 and uh, this season. Now, going going into this game, are you relatively healthy for this time of the year? Yeah, we are healthy. Thank goodness. You know, uh, we're at 100% strength. Um, obviously, uh, we're going to try to give it our ball, give it our all and, and make sure our guys are, you know, as keep it as routine as possible on that uh, Saturday uh, for the quarterfinal game. So, um, you know, we'll look at film this week. We'll have a good game plan on what we want to do against Deshaun and try to break down their personnel to give our guys um, you know, some information in, uh, on the scouting reports uh, and, and just hopefully be, go out and execute a good game plan. Outstanding. So what are the travel plans uh, between now and then? Are you guys – it's a one thirty start, I believe, on Saturday. Uh, you just go that day or are you going up the night before? No, we'll go down the day. Um, we'll go down. We'll get up early, probably have a quick walkthrough, and then um, hopefully have a little send-off here and – get on the bus and, and head down there and get ready for a, a one thirty tip off early afternoon. Um, and just try to keep it as routine as possible. Um, you know, when you get in the playoffs, you don't want to make it any different than what it has been, uh, for the, you know, the second half of the part of the season. And so we're just going to try to keep it as routine and try to keep our, you know, emotions in check and, and just go out there and compete at a high level. Well, Coach, and again, visiting with Coach uh, Darren Pappas, head coach at Mexico High School Boys Basketball. And, Coach, I greatly appreciate you being generous with your time uh, throughout the season, and uh, good luck and safe travels here coming up. I appreciate it, and thanks for all the coverage that you give us. You bet. You're watching and listening to the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Imagine a bank that goes where you go. Creating seamless solutions for every step in your financial journey, allowing you to manage your money the way you want to with a banking relationship that makes every day extraordinary. Imagine a world full of possibilities, always within reach. Central Bank. We do banking better. The Walnut Street Inn is located in the heart of Springfield on historic Walnut Street, just blocks away from the Missouri State Campus, Hammonds Field, Great Southern Arena, and downtown Springfield. The Walnut Street Inn features newly remodeled rooms, breakfast served daily, and a friendly, accommodating staff. The Walnut Street Inn is also a great venue for private events. Book your stay or get more information at walnutstreetinn.com or call 417-864-6346.